Um, wait, did I say Whitney Nunes? I just said you're married. I have my husband here with me. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Uh, wow. Oh, let's see. Welcome back to another Vlogmas video, you guys. Today I'm so excited to have my husband here with me, and I haven't told him what we're doing today, but. We are playing a game that I got inspiration from this website, and I'll link it below for you guys. I don't know what the game is called. I have it on my phone. You don't know what the game is called, mm -hmm. and you're bringing me into this game? Yes. It's not a bad game, okay? Okay, so it's like fun Christmas and trivia. There's Okay, so basically what we're doing, we're doing um, the Christmas tag for YouTube a little differently. Actually, I haven't seen anybody else's Christmas tag, but... This is just questions that I found online and there's actually a book called 501 Questions and this is like the Christmas edition. I thought this would be fun to play for Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, um, if you know, especially this year where everyone's going to hopefully be home because we're all quarantining so I thought that this would be a fun thing to do. We have our drinks here. Cheers. Tell the people Wait. what you're drinking. I'm drinking rum and coke. And I'm drinking coquito, which I shared the recipe a few Vlogmas days ago. So you can make sure you check it out. It's so good. Okay, let's get to these questions. So this one, the little section says, would you rather? So number one, would you rather have a white Christmas or a warm Christmas? I'd rather have a white Christmas. Me too. I, I just feel like snow and Christmas like goes together. Something about the cold just feels so Christmas-like. But funny thing, he grew up in LA, so he is the, he gets warm Christmases every year. And I remember the first Christmas that we spent together, I wanted to give him a white Christmas. So I woke up literally in the middle of the night. Um, quietly and like dressed up the entire uh, living room with like I hung like snowflakes from the ceiling and put white blankets on the floor and fake snow and it was like a magical Christmas morning I think it was number two would you rather receive a gift or share an experience share an experience me too <laughs> I mean of course getting a gift is great but to me I feel like it's more beneficial to enjoy an experience together yeah I mean I've said this before on my channel like we are not big gift givers we usually gift an experience we plan a day out for our birthdays for our anniversary or something like that we usually experience things together or give each other experiences versus gifts right. question number three receive eggnog or fruitcake as a gift I, I, <laughs> I think we're gonna agree on this go? where would you go Eggnog, of course, if, especially if it's coquito. Puerto Rican eggnog. I don't eat. I don't eat fruit cake. I don't eat fruit cake. I was never either. a fan of it. I don't like fruit in my cake. I don't like fruit cake or any fruit in my cake. That's why I don't like pies either, like apple pie or anything like that. When the fruit is cooked, like I don't like it. But when they put like fruit in like uh, between layers of the cake, I don't like that either. Okay, number four. Um, would you rather play outside, build a snowman, and sled, or stay inside drinking hot chocolate and reading a good book when it snows? I don't know. I'm kind of in the fence about that one. I think both experiences are great. Yeah, like I feel like in the morning, let's go outside and play in the snow, yeah. and then once evening comes down, like snuggle up with hot chocolate, a little bit of both. Yeah. Number five, would you rather shop in New York City for gifts or shop online in your pajamas? Uh, shop in New York. <laughs> we live in LA, so. I've, I've never been to He's New York. He's never been to New York, so I have to take him to New York for a Christmas. That was the section of would you rather. Moving on to the next section, if you could, okay? If you could have Christmas at home, or in a new destination, what would you choose? I think home. Being around family to me is part of the celebration of the holidays, so definitely staying home. Number two, if you could only have one Christmas song available to hear over the Christmas season, which one would you choose? White Christmas by Michael Bublé. That's a good one. I don't think I have like a favorite Christmas song. I was gonna say like Mariah Carey, but like the yeah. instrumental one. So Mariah Carey instrumental uh, song. That would be mine. Number three. If you, could. if you could start a new tradition, 
what would it be? Start a new tradition or continue a tradition we've done before and keep it going? I feel like a tradition that we've done before that we did and then we stopped doing was like writing each other a Christmas letter That's saying what this Christmas yeah. mean to us spending Christmas together. Number four, if you could spend Christmas at the beach or in the mountains, what would you choose? Definitely the mountains. Yeah, you don't spend Christmas at, at the, the beach. beach. Yeah, but some people like to like go on vacation to Mexico or to like the Caribbean or like somewhere like hot or nice so they can spend it at the beach, but definitely the mountains because it's just like time to be See, cozied up. This is California. We have sun all year round. <laughs> That's true. If we get a chance to be in cold to experience Christmas that way, why not? Mm -hmm. Alright, number five. If you could plan your Christmas Eve and Christmas Day meals, what would you plan to have? You already know my answer. All you have to do is watch my, my video, watch the vlog. my vlog a couple of days ago. Christmas uh, Puerto Rican food, definitely. I mean, it's a little different here in the States because in the island, we would roast like a pig. And that's always like the best part. But yeah, definitely the Puerto Rican food is what I would have both days. I concur. Next section. This is called Tell Me About. Number one, your favorite Christmas tradition. My favorite Christmas tradition is going to her parents' house. I don't have a favorite Christmas tradition. What? <laughs> How do you not have a favorite Christmas tradition? I don't have a favorite Christmas tradition. Not even like as a kid, there was nothing like you left cookies out for Santa. I don't think I ever believed in Santa, like ever. Like I don't remember a time where I actually believed in Santa. I don't know, um, my parents never really like made us believe that Santa was real. Plus, I didn't live, live in a place where we had a chimney. I don't know. Plus, for us, my mom used to always, what she used to do was that for what we celebrate is Three Kings Day, so Dia de los Reyes. So we would leave um, grass under our beds for the Three Kings. They would come in the middle of the night, and my mom would put like presents for us. But I don't know if I actually believed. I knew, I think I knew it was my mom. But that was a cute tradition. Number two. I'll take over. Tell me about your favorite memory playing in the snow. I was about six or seven. We had went to, I believe, either Big Bear or somewhere up in the mountain. And I just remember building a snowman and doing a snow angel. So that was my, my best memory playing in the snow. I don't know if this is the, the best memory, but it's a memory that literally popped in my head when it said snow. And I remember after school, me and my sister, my younger sister, started playing in the snow with our friends before we got home, on our way home, and her hands like froze. Like, they got like cold. I feel so bad because I feel like she could have lost her fingers, but she didn't, thank God. But um, to try to hide it from my mom, because my mom would always yell at like, you're not supposed to like play in the snow or whatever. Um, I like, I, how old I, I was like either in sixth grade or younger. And I like rushed home and like poured like hot water on her hands, which is like, you're not supposed to do. <laughs> so thank God that nothing happened to her, but yeah. Number three, tell me about your craziest or most memorable Christmas experience. I've never had like a crazy Christmas. Yeah, me either. Number four, tell me the best gift you ever received. My first guitar. I was 14. That's really what like started me, you know, with creating music. For me, I want to say, I don't, was this Christmas? I think it was Christmas my dad bought me a TV for our room. I, I used to share my room with my sister anyway, so he bought us a TV for our room. Uh, number five, tell me about your favorite Christmas ornament. The one with our anniversary on the back of it. <laughs> you just looked over there. I looked over there. I looked over there, but I was like, you can't see where it says our date. Right, like I feel like a lot of people get like Christmas ornaments every year to signify like, like special moments in their lives or whatever for that Christmas, but I didn't grow up doing that. I'm assuming you didn't either. So like ornaments are just ornaments, like whatever you got. But I, this particular ornament, you wanna go get it? Yeah, right This particular ornament, literally it's like a cheap ornament. I think I got it at the, okay. I got it at the 99 cent store. And I just wrote in the back of it, like our first 
Christmas engaged 2017 so this is the and this is we didn't get one when we got married we didn't get one when we first moved in together so this is literally the only ornament that we actually ever like engraved <laughs> Christmas trivia Oh, okay, this is gonna be for you because I can see the answer. Uh, what country is known to have started the Christmas tree tradition? I wouldn't know this. Canada? No. <laughs> Beirut? I'm just gonna tell you. Moscow? Nope. Russia? Germany. Oh, wow. Yeah. Alright, number two. What Christmas song was the first to be broadcasted from space in 1965? Silent Night? No. Jingle Bells. <laughs> that was my second All right, number three. What Christmas decoration was originally made from tin? Tinsel? Yes. What's a tinsel? I have no idea, but the moment she said tin, I was like, tinsel? Number four. What traditional Christmas decoration is actually a parasitic, parasitic plant? The mistletoe. Yeah. Word. <laughs> I'm not good. Number five. What state is home to a town? Name Christmas. Is Wyoming? No. Florida? Yes! Oh. And that's it. That's 20 questions, Christmas questions, and trivia. Did you have fun? I did have fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments of any other fun Christmas trivia questions that you guys have that we can add to this list. And I hope that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the other videos coming up because Vlogmas is not over, and I will see you guys tomorrow in another video, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you had fun and enjoyed the questions. Bye.